Welcome to another 88.5 Live. We're at Mr. Music Head today and sit back, relax, and enjoy a live performance. They have a new album out called The Dream. It's Alt J. Hi, we're all Jay, and this song is called Hard Drive Gold. One, two, one, two. Give me that gold, straight into my hard drive. Give me that gold, straight into my hard drive, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm 15 in my garden, skipping. My neighbor Sue is watching me from a window. Oh, mama, did you tell Sue I'm a millionaire? Now, baby, trade in the crypto. Give me that gold. Give me that. Give me that gold. Give me that fire. Hot. Crying on a stranger is so very soothing. I'm outside my school. My teacher took me to one side and told me I was gone. I love think Google neoliberal. Don't be afraid to make to make money, boy. Don't be afraid to make to make money, boy. Don't be afraid to make to make money, boy. Don't be afraid to make to make money. Straight into my hard drive. Give me that gold. Straight into my hard drive, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't try to rule it, put it on the table and go brrrr. Watch it shatter. Daily mom starts a new with the Audi. The next morning he shouts from his door. Don't be afraid to make to make money, boy. Don't be afraid to make to make money, boy. Don't be afraid to make to make money, boy. Don't be afraid to make to make money. Don't be afraid to make to make money, boy. Don't be afraid to make to make money, boy. Don't be afraid to make to make money, boy. Don't be afraid to make to make money. Straight into my hard drive. Give me that gold. Straight into my hard drive, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. This song's called You and Me. One, two, three, four. Summer holiday, having fun. Happiness is between two bonds. Feeling funky on a rolling boil. Smiles band all over, can't control how I feel. It's just you and me now. Up, give them all notes for my girls in the sun Sending videos to friends in London Oh, 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 oh Strike that seven scars, got a tune from the bar Lay in my hand, candy, tangerine, jelly, castor It's just you and me now Two hot palms, press 
crashing down on my face Trapped by my sockets to a better place Flashing in the dark my luminescent tongue Summer holiday having fun Ooh, 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 it's just you and me now I could hold on to the memory of the day for the rest of my life. I could hold on to the memory of the day for the rest of my life. I could hold on to the memory of the day for the rest of my life. I could hold on to the memory of the day for the rest of my life. This song is called Chicago. One. Two, three, four. More together than alone. From the hill we saw it rain on the town over. Torch to your chin lights your cheekbones. In that moment I saw a likeness to our father. In American night. On that hill in the night Oh, back to the night before Where the TV lit our brilliant smiling faces Torch hits your face before the fall Panic in the eyes, similar to breaking horses In American nights On that hill In the night An apparition lifts me up from his shoulders I sit and see your face above the tree line Your your assurances subtitled in American English I am calm as we sail down the hillside We thought we'd finish with an oldie, but a goldie. Mm -hmm, that's correct. And what's that song going to be, Joe? That song is called Tessellate. By chance out of me you're a shark and I'm swimming My heart still thumps as I bleed And all your friends I'm sniffing Triangles are my favorite shape Three points where two lines meet Toe to toe, bed to bed, let's go My love is very late Till morning comes Let's tessellate Go alone, my friend 
Here we are once again. It's me, Barry Funkhauser. That's right, Barry Funkhauser. Another 88.5 live session, and I'm so stoked because I've been a fan of this band for at least a deck, 10 years, back when it was tra la tra la ah tra It's Alt-J here, everybody. All right. Hello. Hi. Hi. Joe and Gus, the band of... You guys are three people now, right? Correct. Yep. And... How's it feel having a new fourth record out? The Dream is out now, right? Is it? It is out now. It's been yep. out for a month. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah, we think you so. say? <laughs> I would say that. Yeah, the reviews have been positive. Yes. Well, I love it. It's like a real dream listening to it. So 10 years have gone by since you guys, the band from Leeds, right? Leeds, mm -hmm. England. Mm -hmm. You guys are from over there. Yep. And now we're over here now. Oh, yeah. What's the biggest difference between over there? Now that you've had 10 years to yeah. like see it all, what's the, been the bi biggest like difference between? Well, in the UK, the crowds are like, woo! And in the US, the crowds are like, they're like, ow! Oh, yeah? They're yeah. Different. So that's a key difference, yeah. I think. Yeah, between very big difference. America and the UK. I think that also plays generally, doesn't it? Mm, like, I'd say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. National psyche. So yeah. any, if you were over there watching a soccer game or yeah. football, wherever you call it over there, uh -huh. people would be going woo and not yow. Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. Yeah, yeah. 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 we're not really big sports fans. You guys are chanters, no. though. You have like rhyme. We have chants. We say. rhyme. It's true. We rhyme. Us. There's yeah. a lot of rhymes in our songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and in, in the football terraces as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, but you guys aren't sports then. Not really. Mm. Not massively. I used to play a lot of football, soccer, soccer. I used to play a lot when I was a kid. Hands-free sports. Uh, yeah, it's all about the the feet and the knees. And now and you're wearing head. a bolero. Isn't that what that's called? Yeah. I'm 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 really pushing this uh, cowboy aesthetic on this tour. I've noticed when in between yeah. the songs you were picking and grinning a little bit there, yep, twanging yep. it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is I that, that a accent. new thing or? Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's it's always been a kind of a desire of mine, a bucket list to have a full cowboy outfit that I get to wear around the house at least once a year. I think the thing is, you come on tour to America and you go to places like Nashville and Texas and stuff, and you see everybody wears cowboy boots and like hats, and you think, oh, these are so cool. This is a normal way to dress. I'm going to spend like two thousand dollars on wicked cowboy boots, and then you kind of get home and you're like, hmm. Am I going to wear these as much as I thought I did? Yeah. But the answer is yes. Yeah, the answer in, in it is works yes. over there just as much as here. Mm, doesn't work. But doesn't we do work. it anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. you rock it. Oh, it definitely doesn't yeah, work. You're alone. Taking that Western American back home with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, definitely. I've even got, I bought a hard case out. for my. Um, I bought a hard case for my hat as well. That's you how did? serious I am about it. Yeah. Do you check it on the plane? I will be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is yeah. that a new hat? From it's a new hat. Bought it in Nashville. Yeah, I've got a hat that I'm not wearing today. And I also have boots that I'm not wearing today, but I have the bolo ties. So yeah, um, Navajo. There's told. no turquoise in that. 
This is kind of, I think this is called horse stone. Hmm. Uh, That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Wild. Well, when is the, um, what do they call it? Those oh, the washboards. washboards yeah. Mm. That's a good question. Um, fifth album, album six? six? No, not the fifth album. No, no. The sixth okay, album. Okay, yeah, sixth yeah. album. Okay, so let's go all the way back to 20, let's say 2011. Ooh. Before, before, right? Before yeah. everything came to town? For sure. When did you guys kind of figure out that this was a real thing and that you can like quit everything else you were doing probably? I I remember um, Nick Holroyd, our old um, booking agent, he told us to, um, he was like, you need to get your passports in order. Oh, yeah. Um, and I think that was a moment for me. Like, I think previous to that, I, I don't think I'd, I don't, I'd only ever been to France mm. and Spain when I was like three years old. And so we hadn't gone outside of Europe ever. I hadn't, at least. Mm, mm. And that was a real shock to me. Like, we had to get our passports in order because it was... I didn't have my passport. My parents had it, and it was in, like, a bureau somewhere, hidden. Mm. So that was kind of... Yeah, for so me, that was a moment. In, yeah. in your teenage years, you lose your passport. That's true. Yeah. Your, do you guys have social security cards there? And Probably not. We have mm. um, national security... Uh, national, national insurance. insurance numbers. You get a little thing? Yeah. yeah. I know yeah. mine off by heart. Me too. Yeah, well, me too. Don't say it. <laughs> no, I know. Would you stop saying it? You're not supposed to say it, man. Apparently, yours ends in B, mine ends in A. It's A, B, C, and D, it can end in. And apparently, this was a rumor when we were teenagers, that if you're A, that means you'll be in the first wave of people called up if there's ever conscription again. And if you're D, you're like I'm in the last tranche. So what are you guys I'm in? A. I'm B. Okay. So I'll be. So we'll lose you'll you be I'll, No, I'll, lose. I'll be like hero. Right, okay. Mm. Like hero. Yeah. You'll be riding the horse. Into exactly. The, like, yeah. you know, over the Alps like Napoleon. Well, okay, so numbers seem to be important and symbols seem to matter in your band. Alt-J is, what is it, a question mark? Like, what is that supposed to be? Can you explain it? Yeah, so it, it makes a little um, a Greek letter called Delta, which looks like a little triangle. Um, we were at art school. This was 2010, 2011. We're talking, you know, peak, quote-unquote, hipster aesthetic times. We thought it was pretty cool. Um, and so we called ourselves Alt J. We called ourselves. We were like, we're going to call ourselves. Our band name will be the symbol, but you'll pronounce it Alt J. And that didn't really work. So we just called ourselves Alt J in the end. Yeah, yeah. And Long time just, ago. Yeah, it's just a funny name now that kind of just is synonymous with our music. So I, I mean, I dug it from the get go, and I tried it on the keyboard. I don't think it does anything. Was it on a Mac? No. Yeah. Uh, and again, gotta... we didn't realize that it's Apple. Uh, you have to have an Apple product for that to work. And we're not pro Apple. We're what, kind of, what is it on the PC? What's your name in the PC? I think you just sort of like select, insert symbol. I don't know, something like that. Yeah. Start yeah. calling you that. Yeah, it involves some clicking, taste. probably some mouse clicks. Yeah. Here yeah. comes Shift Q yeah. to. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, Alt J, how hard is it to make more hits after you make super killer hits in the first album and you keep going? Is it hard to make music or does it come easily to you guys? I think it's I think I think we have a quite a special chemistry as as friends and that kind of translates well um when we play um our instruments together and actually I don't think it's that hard I think it I think in time when you're not recording with each other you start to think that it will take a long time to get into it but actually as soon as we get into a room together we can bash out songs relatively quickly can't we We can I think that something it's worth saying or interesting i suppose is that you know you you want you want to evolve musically and you want to be like progressing forwards and i think sometimes you know you think your fans sort of sometimes some fans want you to just like stay the same forever but you think well what does that mean does that mean literally like should we just release the first album again yeah you know th that would be yeah. exactly the same would that make you really 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 happy it's you funny because like you don't, our biggest criticisms are that we don't sound like the first album and yeah. it's true it's like well what what do you want from us like mm. you can't it's impossible to not to. It wouldn't make sense to the music or to us as people to remain stagnant within a certain time period. Yeah, thinking the same things and stay and holding relationships with people we knew once. You know, anybody, and I don't know why yeah. you, all the bands get that same kind of criticism, mm. and I don't get it. Mm. And also, our first album was pretty eclectic. Like, I feel like if you want. If you want an album that sounds like the first album, any of our albums are quite, you know, mm, eclectic. We yeah. we've never drastically changed. We're not doing jazz or anything, you know. Yeah. Maybe so what should. comes first? That you you're gonna do jazz eventually, I probably assume some sort yeah, of Yeah, jazz. You know, 
You're it's good on that piano there. You Thank you. Mm. But I'm not a jazz pianist. No, jazz is an art form. Mm. And yeah. I, I don't dare go near that mm. space. Well, what comes first, the music or the words? And who writes the words? Joe writes the words. Mm -hmm. um, I like to help Gus proof, edit, proofread. and proofreads. Makes um, the occasional suggestion. He, Gus, you studied English literature. I did. At Leeds University. I did. So, so you got um, good words. Do you ever say, replace that word with this word? Yes. Yeah. Occasionally. Occasionally. Yeah. Very, you know, we're yeah. not, not on a regular basis. No, it's but, good. Yeah. I, it's good. It's, it helps iron out certain insecurities I may have about my writing that um, I just need to sort of dispel by talking to you. Mm. Because obviously, um, yeah, it's all a punctuation as well. That's a, quite an important part of, and actually cutting down lyrics to make it sort of like rhythmically make sense with the song. Mm. That's something that you have to kind of help me with sometimes. We had some fun with punctuation in the song, the actor actually, do you mm. remember that? Yeah. So yeah. there's a chorus that goes, why do I keep on returning to you cocaine? And I was like, well, you know, if you put a question mark after you and then new word, new sentence, cocaine, it means one thing. If you put, if you put a comma after you and a question mark after cocaine, it means something completely different. It's an Oxford comma. So right? it's like, are you, mm. are you asking cocaine why you keep returning to it? Or are you asking why you keep returning to somebody? Answer cocaine yeah and we put it in both ways in the album lyric booklet it's a little easter egg for yeah, any easter egg, punctuation yeah. fans out there yeah. uh, no one's mentioned you know, it so far so i'm forced to bring it up myself <laughs> <laughs> that came up here with sports because the la rams play football here and their chant is whose house and then everyone has to go rams house and i go who's w-h-o-s oh, right, yeah. yeah or <laughs> yeah 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 who and is I still house? Don't know. Hugh, Hugh, uh, Hugh Laurie, I believe, is the answer to that one. Oh, oh yeah, very good. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. What are the next? Okay, let's talk about California here because you guys have been here. Like, are, do you guys still think you're tourists here, or is this a place you visit often? It depends on the city. Um, I think you know, LA is a funny old place because it's a place that once you get to know it more, you start to appreciate it more, I think. So I, I was, yesterday we were in Santa Barbara and I had some friends from England who were here on holiday doing a bit of a trip and they'd been to LA for the first time and they were like, didn't get it, didn't have a good well, time. Well, Santa Barbara is completely different, yeah, man. Mm. Sure. That's where I'm from. Yeah, so yeah. But okay. anyway, so I like Santa Barbara a lot because like I've got family there and I feel very at home there, but it's nice being back in LA. It's my first, our first time here for a few years. And yeah, I think LA is a, is a really, it's a good place to go with someone who knows LA mm. because like, you'll have a very um, skewed view of the city if you just live, if you just stay in West Hollywood. Um, mm. I think there's so many amazing places. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, LA's always, it's always been a city that you're so excited to return to. And when it's on the tour, you look forward to it because, mm. you know, this is where they they make, you know, worlds happen, you know, the, you know, cinema. We've all grown up with Hollywood cinema and... Uh, it's a it's a huge kind of sort of um, a nostalgia um, trip. I think coming back to LA every time and like I don't know. If there's a buzz here that I think is really exciting. Okay, yeah, LA is fine, but you got your passport and sure. then you've been traveling the globe. What's your favorite place of the whole globe? Um. Oh my. I mean, I think like I. We've been to Iceland a couple of times to play. That's a very cool place. You know, that's is it somewhere. Cold? Uh, is it cold? It's cold in the winter, and in the uh -huh. summer, it's not as cold. Um, I would say that's. I'll say Iceland today. That's my answer today. I think. I think it's where the food is. I think for me, yeah. like France is always. If you really love your food, and you respect French, uh, the French experience, culinary speaking. Culinarily speaking, yeah. Um, Culinarily speaking, oh sure, mm. okay. Well, we're, if you guys are from Leeds, isn't that how you say it? Culinary in Leeds, you'd be like culinary. Yeah, ah, yeah. I see. Or I only like, watch you are. Gordon Ramsay, yeah. so that's how I get all my food. Ah, uh, Ramsay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, no, I think, and I, actually, that's probably why America's so interested, interesting, because uh, there are so many diverse sort of like spots of very different ways of. Um, um, Understanding cooking. food and cooking food. Did you try yeah. a late night street taco yet? Is that a place? No, they're a no. Oh, all right. over the place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we have had that. We have had that. Someone told yeah. me, um, John from um, the uh, from Portugal, Portugal the, Man. the Man, he he told me of a few spots because they know some people, cool people here. Mm. Yeah. Yep. It's on on the corner at 1130. 
every mm. night of the week. Yeah, mm. that, that, yeah. There's so that I have so many culture. fast food favorites in America like that. I think if I lived here, I sp- I'd probably get sick. I'd probably go for the late night tacos, you know, like five nights a week for the first month, and then I'd probably never do it again. But oh, um, you'd be I'd surprised, ruin it for myself. brother. Really? Okay. There's a lot of different ones to choose from around here. Right. Well, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So the dream is out. It's the fourth album. And what's uh, what's your plan for that album? What's gonna ha- What's going down with that? Um, well, I mean, we would ideally like it to win every award going, um, even like best audio book at the Grammys. We'd like to win that one. Best country yeah. album, best Hispanic yeah, we'll, Latin album. We'll shamelessly take them all. Yeah, we want yeah. every single award. Um, Where would you display it if you won the award? Well, we've talked about this. What a good question. Yeah. I suggested maybe the front window of your house and just mm. have like a display like a shop with all the trophies yeah that's where I display you know uh, uh, I think his name is Matt from Weezer the bassist guy mm-hmm. yeah I was at a party at his house once and I'd use restroom you need to use the loo sure. and then I went in there I was lost before and that's where his VMA is oh, okay. yeah that's Everybody a classic that's a classic kind of self-deprecating except I'm still displaying it kind of thing to do yeah, isn't yeah, it yeah. you know we, we do that in the UK as you well you could I could a good thing you could do with all if say like obviously we've we've won like two awards in our like two prestigious awards which the highlights of our career um, but if you win many what you could do is you could chop them up and then turn them into door door handles mm-hmm. mm. do you think that would be cool like melt them down? No, no, not melt them down. Just like a Grammy or a Golden Globe or just something. Just like grab the body of the Grammy. Yeah, right, the body of right, the right, thing right, that's right. on the thing. And you just... The horn. The horn. And you can just... And you're like, the Grammy handle, the Oscar handle, Oscar's head. Yeah. I and think then, I just drop them everywhere. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. whoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I dropped my, <laughs> yeah. you know, best whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah you can do that. Yeah. In public? Yeah. yeah, just so mm. people go like, "Hey, you dropped your Grammy." That's oh, brilliant. Oops. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so many of them. Yeah. I... Okay, I have one more question for you guys. All right, Alt J is here with me, and I have one more question. I ask every band member and human person that I run into this one question, and there is no right or wrong answer. Are you ready for the question? Is that the question? No, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the first question. Okay. I have two. Uh, <laughs> would you rather get into a battle to the death? With one horse sized duck or 100 duck sized horses, a battle to the death, mm. meaning I have to kill all 100 of them. Somebody's gonna have, yeah, that's a yeah. hundred, that's a hundred um, mini horses. Mini horses, that you've I'd killed. go for the mini horse, the, the duck sized horses. The horse-sized duck, I'd have no chance. I'd I wouldn't f- even like to fight a normal duck. Well, the thing is, it's that whole thing about would you rather fight two adults or a hundred children? Um, <laughs> and I, I that, that I think about that daily. And um, <laughs> my answer is always, I'd rather fight the two adults. So I think I would go for um, the duck-sized horse because you know the numbers will overwhelm you, my friend. Mm. Whereas you have a game plan, a more a more consistent game plan fighting something so huge. And go for the eyes, yeah, or the um, or the the two legs. Right, sure, yeah. I'm sticking to my answer though. You're going with that, yeah. So you're going for the big I'm guy, just booting them. You're also going Bang. for the big guy, cause... yeah. No, I'm going for no, the little guys. I'm going the, for the little guys. You're two. going for the little guys. Yeah, yeah. Like, I wouldn't want. Like, you're I'm giant smart. duck. Yeah, I'm going for the big duck. And you're smart, and you're going for the. Yeah. One. Oh, yeah. okay. It's, no wrong answer. Well, look, listen. Except for one. You got a hundred of anything coming at you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're a tall guy, yeah. So you you should probably got a long reach. There. You can get twenty or thirty of them until there's danger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, it's, it must be fighting off a hundred things. That's um, fatigue inducing, and very quickly, I'd imagine. You know, you pull one of them off, and then you got six on your back, and you're like, <laughs> you know, and you only have these. And then that's here. that's seven, and that's then you've seven. got another ninety three. <laughs> I'm sticking with my answer. Right, fine. Well, I hope it never happens, but at least we're prepared for it now. All yeah. J, thank you guys so much for being here. My friends Joe and Gus are here, and you guys are on tour now, and the album is out now. It's called yep. The Dream. It's the fourth album. You guys have been doing it for a full deck. Mm-hmm, Let's mm-hmm. say I talk to you 10 years from now. What do you think my first question will be? What happened to your face? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, we'll have had a lot of plastic surgery by in the next we 10 years. A lot of tucks. A lot of nips, a lot of tucks. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you have a good doctor, and I'll see you in 10 years. Thank All you day, very much. Everybody. Thank you. Thanks for being here. 88.5 Live. Five FM, KCSN, and KCSN HD1, Northridge, Los Angeles. KSBR and KSBR HD1, Mission Viejo. A service of California State University, Northridge, and Saddleback College. Member-supported public radio. Streaming on the web at 885fm.org.